These traditional German beer steins, with their ornate ceramic bodies and pewter lids, are functional works of art. The word stein is short for a German word meaning stoneware jug. Production begins in the casting department with a plaster mold, its cavity the shape and design of the stein's body. They pour in liquid clay, wait about two hours until it thickens, then pour out whatever liquid remains. After testing the consistency of what's still inside, they gingerly disassemble the mold, revealing the stein's body. The mold has transferred all the intricate detail to the clay surface. For certain stein shapes, they get better results using solid clay. They cut off the amount they need, then drop it inside a plaster mold. A machine pushes the clay into every crevice of the mold cavity. A worker trims away any excess that oozes out. Then the mold goes into a drying machine for 20 minutes. When it comes out, they disassemble the sections to extract the casting. Whether made from liquid or solid clay, each stein body goes on a potter's wheel for some refining. The potter removes seams that formed where the mold sections met. He also trims and smooths out the rim. Then, using some wet clay as an adhesive, he attaches an ornate handle. It too is made entirely of clay. The factory shapes it either in a mold or with a die in a press. Finally, they stamp the bottom with two marks, made in Germany and the company brand. Now the coloring process begins. They coat the stein body with a special paint for ceramics. First, a watery coat of the background color all over, then a thicker coat around the reliefs to highlight them. They rub most of the paint off the reliefs to accentuate the contrast. Next, workers spray a milky glaze over the stein body, inside and out. This glaze is made mainly of sodium and silicon, minerals that turn into transparent glass under high heat. This will strengthen and waterproof the stoneware beneath it. Workers load dozens of stein bodies into an oven where they bake at 1130 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. This hardens the clay, turns the colors vibrant, and transforms the glaze into a protective glass coating. After a 12-hour cooling period, the true artistry begins. A skilled painter embellishes the design with colorful enamel paints. A second firing, this time for just five to six hours, bakes the paint onto the glass surface. Now, to top it all off, the Stein's ornate lid. It's made of pewter cast in a mold. A thumb lift pivots the lid on a hinge. To attach the lid to the Stein body, they position the thumb lift on the handle, then assemble a small mounting tool over it. They pour in molten pewter, Then after a minute or so, remove the device. The pewter has hardened into a ring attaching the thumb lift to the handle. They clip off the excess, then buff the metal to a shine. With their traditional scenes, or more contemporary themes, these beer steins are the toast of the town.